What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on your Motorola Atrix HD and your Motorola Razer HD. But first, I would just like to say a special thanks to the developers who made this ROM. Uh, Halo 13, Matt Algroth, Nidio, VT Win, Breeze, Chainfire, and Travap. I'm sorry if I mentioned your names wrong, but this is how I just found it on the forums. Alright, the ROM. The ROM is called Inflicted. The ROM is made uh, specially and overclocked for your Motorola HX HD and Razer HD. Super fast, super smooth, and I guarantee you will have no lags. Alright, once uh, once you download the folder, I'm going to leave you in Dropbox. You're going to unzip it and you're going to get three files. Inflicted ROM, Razer Atrix HD, Wi-Fi fix. This for... Since it's ported from the Razer HD, this ROM is ported from the Razer HD, um, it's going to have some Wi-Fi issues and problems. And you're going to need this file to fix the ROM. All right. And Razer HD safe strap. This is for recovery mode for installing the custom ROM. You're going to copy this, this, and this onto the Atrix HD internal storage. Copy it and just paste it right here. All right, next step. And just set it there. Perfect. All right. Now what you're going to do is, by the way, first go to settings. Go to security and screen lock and make sure you check mark unknown sources. All right, check mark it. That's just for accepting unknown apps. Then you're going to use any file explorer that you want, but I recommend the stock one. Then you're going to go where it says device storage, scroll down, and then you're going to select Razer, uh, the safe strap, right? Replace the app. I already have installed, so I'm going to replace it, install. Okay, successfully installed. I'm going to open it, and then super user permission, I'm going to grant it, install recovery. Super easy, super fast, no hassle, no anything, all right? Once you've done that, then you're going to press the power and power the phone off. I'm going to wait for the phone to boot back up. Now, what you're going to do is, when you see this menu, hit recovery. And you have to be quick, because you only have 10 seconds to hit that recovery or reboot. You're going to go the now to this menu, all right, this menu. What you're going to do now is hit where it says, all right, boot options, hit it, hit ROM slot 1, then you're going to hit where it says 1 gig, 1 gig, and you're going to hit uh, create ROM slot. Uh, this is going to take maybe about two three minutes it's green means it's okay one thing uh, this slot takes two gigs so you lose two gigs but look at the bright side you have your stock ROM here and you have your ROM slot one here so the custom ROM here and the stock here so just in case you break uh, the custom ROM you have your stock ROM so you can revert back okay now hit the back key Okay, let me see if I can adjust this better. All right, now you're gonna go where it says wipe, and you're gonna wipe the system. Okay, successful. Then you're gonna go where it says wipe, uh, format data. There. Then you're gonna go where it says wipe cache, and there you're gonna go wipe Dalvik cache. Super easy, super quick. Now what you're gonna do is hit it back, install, scroll where you uh, place the ROM. In my case, let me focus. Let's see. Inflicted ROM HD. All right, the ROM focus. All right there. I click it and swipe to install it. All right, this is gonna take about. 
exactly two to three minutes so I'm gonna pause the video okay and now it's successfully installed the ROM now what you're gonna do is reboot the system see now it's enabled hit continue or just wait the 10 seconds up very very cool much better than the AT&T logo <laughs> Okay, so you just left it about two minutes in booting up. Let's hit start. Uh, mine has a net 10 SIM card, so it says the SIM card is an unknown source. I don't know what SIM card you have, so. Hit OK. And here's the main menu. Super smooth, super fast. See here? This is what I meant. Wi Fi is not working. Now go back to hit the power menu, and now you're gonna get this cool new me uh, uh, power menu. Hit reboot. All right, recovery. Man, I'm I'm very sorry for this long video. All right, and you're gonna go to install. Scroll down, and you're gonna go where it says. Let me focus a little bit. There. All right, Razer to Atrix Wi-Fi fix. And there you go, and successful. Then you're going to reboot back. Alright, and you're back on the main menu. Alright, see if Wi-Fi works. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to hit the toggle. I'm just going to go to the Wi-Fi itself. See? If you didn't do the Wi-Fi fix, you keep pressing on and off, on and off, on and off, and the Wi-Fi will not work. With a Wi-Fi fix uh, from ported from the Razer HD to the Atrix HD, now you can have Wi-Fi. Some people say SMS is not working, but SMS is working. I've tested it out and it is working. But if you have any problems with it, just uh, comment, all right? And I'll try to help you with this problem. Enjoy your custom ROM. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like, subscribe, and comment to make my videos better I really like the opinions of the subscribers comment anything and if you have any problems just hit me up okay thanks